Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be discussing with you the importance of creating a VMware snapshot. Now, a lot of you who have purchased my items are moving from a physical MCS server to a new virtual machine, and you're not aware of the cool features that VMware has to offer when it comes to your virtual servers, one of which is called the VMware snapshot. That essentially takes a picture of the database and the configuration at that so just imagine time. how much time that will save you taking the time to configure everything just like you want it then create the snapshot and down the line if something ever happens you can always revert back to that snapshot and you're good to go and this is really really handy when you're working in a, a lab because most servers or some servers require a license but they do give you a demo license with a expiration date let's just say you get 60 days so my suggestion would be to configure everything just like you want it day one of the trial and at the end of that 60 day just go back to that day one snapshot and you all set again for another 60 days and just keep doing that and as you build on it you know continue to create create snapshot. And to create the snapshot so, is very simple and straightforward what you need to do is make sure first that your server is actually turned on it needs to be in the powered on position because you want to save a running configuration of the server image so go to the server that's currently turned on that you wanted to create a snapshot of right click on it go to snapshot and click take snapshot from here you just need to give it a name and give it a description and make sure that you check both of these boxes and then click OK. Uh, if your snapshot fails during this process, chances are that your VMware tool is either not installed or out of date. So if you do come across it and it does fail, go ahead and update your VMware tools and try it again and see if you don't complete it successfully. Now, I'm not going to do it now because I already have a snapshot. So once you have a snapshot or several snapshots, you can go back to the snapshot and go to the snapshot manager. And here you can kind of do maintenance. Uh, you can delete snapshots, rename them, add descriptions, and things of that nature. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to go over today. Uh, and before I go, I just wanted to show my VMware Workstation users that you can do the exact same thing on the VMware Workstation where you can just click on this active running server go down to snapshot and here you have the tech take snapshot and your snapshot manager so it works the same way across both platforms guys well I hope this was informative to you I would like to thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe for geek sakes